Uh, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. It's morning here. It's also pretty dark here. I'm in my extra storage building. Walking up a very sketchy ladder to get some bins. All these bins have lids. Uh, Jay asked me if I had any bins, can I grab some for him because uh, he needs them for his storage. And all these are just sitting here not doing anything. So I figured I would grab some of these, meet them at the thrift store. I have a lot of packages that have to go out. That looks all right. I'm kind of blinding myself, but yeah. Good morning, everyone. It's dark in here. It's cold in here. It's raining. Let's make it a good one. Let's do it. All right, game morning iced coffee. I got like nine minutes to go. Thrift store is literally just back there across the street. Hey. Yeah, can you just scan this? Yep, you too. Hello. Hello. All right. Thank you. All right. Onward we go. All right. So no J in sight. I got first dibs on that rack. Ooh, got a nice Jackson jersey. Uh, nope, Reebok. I got a Pyrex bowl here. I don't think it's worth that much. It's three dollars, so I'm gonna have to check it out. This one shirt, well, I'll show you guys here in a bit, but I'll grab the cart. Knowing my ordeal with uh, Pyrex, I generally drop them, so. <laughs> what, back there? Yep, I've seen that one. Thank you. Could you check out the back over there? What's that? You see that? No, I didn't see this. <laughs> oh, this is like the magic one that I found. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it is. It's, it uh, is. it's, it's the, like same the same one. Thing. I wonder if it came from the same person. Maybe. Dude, that was like a week ago. Oh, this is big. <laughs> no, that was like two weeks ago. That's huge. That was just a joke. Morning, how are you? Alright, looks like summertime stuff is about done with over here. Uh, I grabbed this one sweater for my mom. She, I know I talked about a little bit about this, but she can't get out here with everything kind of going on. Buses don't run the right schedule. She really doesn't want to ride the bus. So uh, I'm grabbing this sweater. I hope it works. Uh, I did pick up a Pyrex. I picked up a shirt or a t-shirt and that uh, like a shooting jersey, a basketball shoot around jersey. There's one on there, same exact one for 50 bucks. It's got 16 watchers. It's a uh, Vancouver Grizzlies. Really cool shirt. The uh, the Pyrex piece I got, I believe this is called Dandelion. It's only three bucks, so can't beat it. I think it's a promotional piece. Someone got in trouble over there. I don't know what that's all about. It's a game warden and two state police cars. I don't know what the game warden's doing in the parking lot for Ross, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, last time, well, not the last time I was here, but one of the last times I was here, this guy. Bro, it says stop right there. All right, last time I was here, there was nothing. And I mean, like, the sock section, there might have been, like, two pairs of socks. Hats, there wasn't any hats. The shoes, there was maybe five pairs of shoes on this whole thing. It was bad. Uh, looks like pretty big C. Look at hats. The issue you have here is you obviously... You're looking for certain brands, but if you're looking for any like these team ones, you'd want the on field like the stuff they wear, which I'm not seeing any. Cavaliers, Chargers, 
So, looks like we're not going to be buying any to sell. Marlins. 25 retail. Uh, this one's only 8 bucks. I'm going to grab this. This one's selling for like $20 on eBay. Uh, after shipping fees, I think you can still probably make 6 or 7 bucks. Uh, the last time I bought a bunch of stuff here, um, last time I bought a bunch of these in my uh, how to make a $100 at Ross video, I sold every single one of these Under Armour ones. So I'm going to grab this. All right. Got all these here for $18 free shipping. These are all like logo socks. If you look over here, they got like a gajillion of them. You got these, you got those, you got those back there. They have just these logo socks over here. And they're always, they're eight bucks. I don't know how much these cost to ship. All right, they do have a, like a spack to wear. It's only 13 bucks. It's like a woman's small. It's actually a decent quality jersey. That's a blank. Oh, we've got a hockey jersey. Oh. Wow, only $13. Oh, it's a Fanatics. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a nice jersey for $13. Like all that truck stops all the way back there. Still thinking like how wild it is that guy didn't stop for me. It's not even like he like blew the stop completely. I don't know. I don't even know if you can get a ticket for not stopping at a stop sign inside one of these parking lots. Cause I don't know if this is really considered like city land because it's private property. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know if you can actually get a ticket for that. I guess you could. Um, but wow, what a score. I should do a picture over here. So it's like crazy. Like I, I just <laughs> there's so much money to be made at Ross. There's so much money to be made at TJ Maxx that like if you're self-employed and you're looking for another avenue, like there's just in 20 minutes I was able to find well over like a hundred dollars worth of profit. I mean you can make five six bucks a piece on those, you know those underwear pieces. Uh, these stores are now packed with inventory before they weren't uh but like i got everything i got socks like limited edition socks nba logo um i got that hockey jersey the hockey jersey i think i only end up selling for like 30 to 50 brand new the only issue with it it's not an adidas jersey it's not nike it's not Reebok. It's not ccm it's a fanatics fanatics not fanatics fanatics jersey uh so it's a little bit less of a quality but still overall like a, a solid jersey I, I think i've seen them sell for like 55 dollars on ebay given he doesn't play on the team anymore it might be a little bit harder but i mean you can easily just make you know 100 dollars, 200 dollars in a matter of an hour or two to two hours just by you know scanning a couple items in there if you have some sort of idea of what things are worth what things are sought after there's no problem good stuff so I made it back. Uh, I do have some cool things here. I got, oh, there comes Salsa. Salsa coming to steal the show, dig her snout right in there. Uh, but I did grab some really cool items here at the thrift store. We have the Pyrex Dandelion. Uh, we got the Dandelion thing. Obviously this is Vancouver. I wish that was a jersey. Like this would just be an awesome graphic to make it a little bit easier. Here, have this. Thank you to everyone who sent salsa gifts as well. Give her a gift, maybe she'll run, run down the hallway. Like run over there. Mm, mm. Yeah, she'll come. If I give her one of these shorter ones, I think she'll just sit there and eat it. If, she, if I give her one of these longer ones, she'll take it and run. See you later. Uh, but yeah, grab these awesome. These are like limited edition socks, NBA. All these NBA logo socks, they had so many there. And I don't know, like, let me know down below. If you think $18 free shipping online is a good deal. I don't think there's tax on this stuff on this at Ross. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it depends on your state as well. 
but 18 bucks free shipping on eBay. These are limited edition socks. These aren't listed, I don't think. So that's the only reason why I bought these instead of the other ones. So they're seven bucks. I was hoping to probably sell them for like 25, we'll see. Uh, grab some, some Tommy Hilfiger socks as well as the hockey jersey. And I think I grabbed two pairs of the underwear. Um, one of the big things and one of the things I'll say, like if you guys are you know, curious about how to, wait, how to make more money, especially with Ross, is like something with the underwear, for example. I did very well selling the Under Armour underwear in uh, the previous Ross video I did. However, if you go over there and you look at the higher end brands, so like Tommy Hilfiger, for example, there might have been 200 boxes or packages of boxer briefs, boxers, underwear, anything in general for the men's department. However, there was only three out of the 200 that were Tommy Hilfiger brand. Uh, if you look up Tommy Hilfiger boxer briefs or whatever it might be, on Amazon, on eBay, sometimes they fetch like $35, $40 free shipping over at Ross. They're only $15 or $16 or $17. So that is a very, very good way to kind of maybe make yourself five bucks or 10 bucks on the side, multiply by how many you find. Very, very good uh, way to do a little side hustle. Another thing is with the hockey jersey that I picked up there, they had these Boston College hockey jerseys in the past. I think they're made by Under Armour as well um, that were like at every Ross two years ago or something and they were $12 and you can buy them on eBay for like 18 bucks. So it was like a terrible flip. The last time I looked, I don't know, I haven't looked recently. The last time I looked probably two or three months ago, they were selling for like $45 a piece. I can't remember if it was free shipping or whatever, but they went from $18, $20 selling on eBay to $45. They no longer have these in stock, but if you're willing to buy them, hold on to them, you could have done very, very well. So uh, there's always an option out there to make some money with Ross. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I grabbed some pretty cool things. Thank you to Jay as well. Jay, uh, Jay grabbed some bins and helped me uh, at the thrift store for a couple of our items. So thanks to Jay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. I'll catch up with you guys next time for our next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.